Hi, I'm Mark Winter. A hit record is like a passport. If you have a hit record nationally, it's great. If you have it internationally, it's even better. And I've been very lucky in having nine passports in my recording career. Right back from my very first record, Image of a Girl, through Exclusively Yours, Dream Girl, Kicking Up the Leaves, and then my bigger hit records, Only You, It's Almost Tomorrow, Go Away Little Girl, Shy Girl, and my biggest hit of all, Venus in Blue Jeans. I will remember Tony Hatch, my recording manager, calling me when I was playing a show on the South Coast and saying, Mark, I've got this great song for you. Can you come to London tomorrow morning, very early? I've got a studio booked at 9 o'clock. I thought, 9 o'clock? Oh, I can't sing at 9 o'clock in the morning. Anyhow, I got up at half past five, called the milk train. Yes, there was such thing in those days, a milk train. Did the session, went back to the South Coast. Ten days later, Venus in Blue Jeans came out and raced up the charts. And nobody was happier than I was, because it's become a kind of ID that I'm associated with, providing many, many other wonderful opportunities. And not very long ago, I went into a show in London called Dreamboats and Petticoats, a 60s pop musical, playing the part of Phil, the father who owned the youth club, and his son was an aspiring singer-songwriter. So it was a kind of a cycle of my own early life, because that's what I was doing when I was 15, 16, singing in dance halls and hoping to write songs. But there is now a compilation of Dreamboats and Petticoats, the 10th anniversary that's just come out, with all that great music that we all love so much, that provides slides in our minds of things we were doing, who we were with, where we were, and I don't think those memories will ever go away. Dreamboats and Petticoats is the most fantastic compilation to have because it provides us with a communication between the public and the performer, and I'm very happy to be a part of that.